Welcome back. We have Melina Moore joining us today ahead of the KSO performance Magic of Vienna. She is the soprano that will be singing as a part of this production. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for yes. having me. I guess I should say welcome back to Midday because you have been on before. I have. It's been quite a long time, yes. but I have been right here before. Well, it's great to have you back. And uh, your you. dog, Zeke. Zeke is here with me. He's he... my traveling show dog. Does he go with you everywhere? He's a registered <laughs> therapy dog, you he said. He is, actually, yeah. Uh, and he does. He He's my little old man. He goes with me everywhere. Everywhere. I love it. And he has a sweater on because it's minus 15 oh, or whatever. And he just got a haircut. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. <laughs> He's looking sharp for TV. We got the close up of him and everything. Uh, Anyways, a pleasure to have you here. Thank I won't you. make you sing or anything, but you have quite an accomplished career under your belt. Oh. Thank you. You do, yes. She was born in Buenos Aires. She grew up in New York, I believe, went to school there. I did, yeah. um, Many years of schooling, in fact. And uh, she finds herself now living in the Okanagan, where she is uh, uh, the founder of Valley Vocal Art Studio and Big Apple Productions, where you do uh, uh, many productions every year. We do. We do a little bit of operetta, mostly musical theater. So we do the big Broadway shows, the full productions, uh, about three to four a year. and. We're always in production for something. Right now, it's Jesus Christ Superstar coming up Good in, for you. in March. So. And you're in charge of the entire production? I'm the artistic director, so I, I produce all of the shows, and then I'll either act as music director or stage director or you know, something in that vein. That's but, really great. So yeah. uh, the theater uh, uh, the theater world is quite alive and well in the Vernon area then. It absolutely is. Yes. yes. We have Western Canada Theater here. Oh, sure I you're know. Aware. Oh, they're wonderful. They are wonderful. Yeah. They put on really good productions they as do. well. They so. do. So you're a soprano. I'm a soprano. I'm a coloratura soprano, the highest, highest kind, the kind only dogs can hear. Really? So. <laughs> you can sing really, really high notes? Really high, like glass shatteringly high. And how but do I you, won't today. How do people learn that that's something they can really do well? I mean, were you a kid and you thought, hey, I can sing really high notes? No, and then you. I, I was just, you know, I was introduced to, to music and vocal training. I was really lucky from a very early age and had really, really good teachers. I think it, that's a big part of it is mm -hmm. to be lucky enough to be that young and find really, really good guidance because there's a lot of not so good stuff out there too. Sure. And started training when I was nine and then really fell in love with it in high school and wanted to devote my life to opera and uh, I was weird. <laughs> but good for you. You find happiness in music. I do. And I, I do. It's all I know. I think very well-balanced people find happiness in music. You oh. know what I mean? Thanks. <laughs> she doesn't know me that well. Oh, there's time yet. Uh, but uh, this weekend, uh, Magic of Vienna, you are singing soprano. I was looking at the rundown of the show, and you have yeah. many solos. Tell me a little bit about what you'll be singing. Oh, we, we, it's a great, great diverse program. There is, of course, it's Viennese uh, operetta. So there are some pieces from The Merry Widow, from um, uh, a deflator mouse. I'm singing a really crazy coloratura soprano piece called The Doll Song from the Tales of Hoffman where I play this mechanical doll who you know, sings crazy things and then kind of runs out of steam and has to get wound up again. So there's a little surprise in there with mm -hmm. me and the conductor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then the second half of the show is more pop stuff. So musical theater, uh, there's some Phantom of the Opera, some pieces that Josh Groban made famous. Lovely. and Yeah, and I, lo I just love performing with Bruce. He's, he is a doll, and this, of course, is his last year. Yes. And um, so it'll be my last performance with him, which is oh, bittersweet, a little then. melancholy. Yeah. Yes. What is your favorite thing about getting up on stage? Do you uh, get nervous at this point, or for you it's just... Oh, uh, always nervous. Oh, really? Always yeah. nervous. And I had a teacher who, who once said... Um, you know, the day you stop getting nervous when you stand up on stage and perform is the day you stop caring. And so I've just always remembered that. And I think the nerves happen because, you know, you care. You want to do a really, really Absolutely. good job. And honor the music and honor your audience. And yes. Yeah. And the nerves keep you on your toes just a little bit. They do. They give right? lots of energy and... Definitely, and I'm I'm coming off of a terrible cold and flu season, and right. I've just been really sick, and so I think the nerves in that case just help to kind of get past that a little Good bit because I'm still feeling. Bleh. I know it's going around <laughs> our newsroom as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we are out of time unfortunately, but what a pleasure to have you back on Thank the show. Thank you so much. Yes, I hope Thank that you. the three performances coming up go really well. Me too. Yes, Salmon Arm I believe is tonight. Tonight, yep. And then Kamloops tomorrow and Sunday. One of them a matinee. Information on the screen. If you'd like to learn more as well, you can still get tickets if you'd like to come and see her here in Kamloops on Saturday or Sunday. Kamloops Live, of course. KamloopsLive.ca.
quick break. We're back with lots more midday in just a few minutes. Stay with us.